All right, so I, you've heard me say this. Um, always live your life to the fullest as if it's your last day. Uh, you hear so many people like uh, go on and they work and they wait for their retirement and they unfortunately they never make it. And sometimes uh, accident, horrible accident happens and you go to work and you may never come back. I've said this about the police officers, the firefighters, and how we always appreciate what they do every day for us, and they should be recognized. Unfortunately, this week in Virginia, uh, everybody heard about the shooting, the reporter, 26-year-old, that went to work and, and was uh, affected by this senseless act of violence, and uh, this person started shooting the reporter and photographer and killed both of them on live TV. We have Dr. Jeffrey Gardier, who is a clinical psychologist and one of the most sought uh, experts in the field of mental health. We don't talk a lot about psychology and mental health. And I, th I thought it's great to have an expert like Dr. Gardier with us. Good morning, Jeff. How are you? Uh, good morning, Dr. Samadhi. Great to be on with you. Well, thank you for being with us. You know, um, on live TV, this poor reporter, and our hearts goes to, to the family, and especially I saw the interviews of her father, on uh, Fox and CNN, and it's just, you know, you cannot imagine um, your daughter on live TV being shot by these loonies and crazy people for whatever, insecurity, uh, discrimination. Uh, he pulled race uh, card on this, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. What is going on in this country? What's happening in a situation like this? Uh, I, I think, I think Dr. Samadhi, part of what's going on, and, and I think you know this as a medical professional, the last bastion of medical care, which is psychiatric care, is so difficult. It's so hard to be able to treat individuals who are um, what we call uh, idiosyncratic in their uh, symptoms. And they vary and they change so quickly. And they're egocentric, which means that they, they are not even aware that they have mental health issues. And so when you have someone like this who appears to have had a paranoid, delusional personality, seeing slights where they may not be, or feeling them uh, in such a, a mortal wound when experiencing perhaps some sort of discrimination, um, they overreact. And that's what we saw with this individual, a very rageful person who should have had mental health care a long time ago, but perhaps did not get it. 